Nina wouldn't leave me alone anyway, so yeah, it's a, it's a good excuse to start over. All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm just going to jump into a uh, state of play that came out today. Bloodshot was just telling me that uh, something is in here that I will very much enjoy. That last part might have been a hair dramatic. But there's lots of awesome updates in Audio levels I mean, should be better now. About time experience on PlayStation 5. Hey everyone, I'm Luce Stutter. Cannot be the beginning of an episode without my cats freaking out. I'm joined by Nina and the always chicken-hearted Helios. Come here, buddy. Come here, make yourself known. Make yourself known. There you go. We find the evil normal speed when it gets to that Dr. point. Entropy, a, You'll know when you see it. Oh. Oh. Really? Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can figure out how to do that quickly. But wait until you see him spinning heads in native 4K at 60 frames per second. With the weight of the universe on your shoulders, probably some errands to run. There's little time to wait on loading. Well, my mouse just quit. The dual sense wireless control. Oh, 200 percent No. Fingertips. So you can feel the blast of Neocortex's DNA changing ray gun, or feel the grip when you grapple a ton of hookshot. Hold on tight when you feel the boost of crashes. Is it gonna reset it? Awesome. There we go. Crank it up to 11 and take your audio into an all-new dimension with enhanced All right. 3D audio. That should be enough to have the, the copyright crews leave me alone. Marsupial loses way. Leverage PlayStation 5 activity cards to track your progress and hit your goals for things like time trials, flashback levels, and boss fights. I bet Entropy wishes he had that. Cool, bring cool. Bring complete save over from the PlayStation 4 and use the activity cards to get to 106%. Oh, and one more thing. If you own the PS4 version of the game, an upgrade option is available. Check out the PlayStation blog for full details. Whether it's so I'm going to imagine most of these are going to be for PlayStation 5. No better time to experience Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time Dude, is it Silent Hill? Do we get a new Silent Hill? I'm going to lose my mind if we get a new Silent Hill. I will go out Welcome and buy back, a gang's all place. Here on Are you serious? Of state of play. We've got some great oh, updates lined shit. up for you. Okay. <laughs> First, let's check out the latest on an eagerly anticipated game coming to the it's PS5 not console no. okay. this spring from PlayStation Studios. Hey everyone, PlayStation we Studios. at Housemark are excited to give you this sneak peek at Returnal. <sighs> In Returnal, you will play as Celine and Astra. <laughs> My bad. I got excited. I had a thought. Receiving a mysterious signal, white shadow. Players will okay. explore this Can you not make the slurpy sounds sitting here next to the microphone? Unfold mysteries. It kind of sounds like I have flatulence. Force at play. I don't. I would claim Flashing it if I did. Maneuvering your way above and around enemies is key to survival in return. Uh, okay. Kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. With hmm. a large variety of enemies and the vast number of unique movesets each possess, combat situations prove challenging no matter what the circumstances are. Death is only the beginning. Hmm. Oh, sorry. God, you moved. Every time you die and restart, the world will change. The map will be so like Hades? Enemies will appear in new locations and in differing numbers. By the way, uh, Bloodshot? Also, what came out today on the Nintendo Switch is uh, uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts Resurrection. Um, I was telling Alvin about it. Alvin said, absolutely not. And then he says, wait, is there a physical copy? If there's a physical copy, I will buy it. Unfortunately, there's not. So, he's almost on board. Almost on board with getting uh, the new Besides Super the Ghouls and Ghosts combat, game. Also I think it would be fun. There's a two-player co-op option, so together, the yeah. Is the story of Selene, as they venture deeper Do it. Deeper into Atropos and into Do it. Personal nightmare. That's... That can't be here. I think I am reliving my memories in that house, but... Hey, Mama Sonia. Going very well. Going very well. 
just watching the state of play. Uh, I got a little excited earlier. I thought maybe we were getting a new Silent Hill, and then Bloodshot said no. So, he said there's something in here that I will very much enjoy, though. Uh, we're currently talking about trying to get Alvin to buy Super Ghouls and Ghosts Resurrection on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, visible side. I think Alvin's actually watching. He just sent me a message. <laughs> What's up, Alvin? Yep. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? Come on, play Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Gotta buy it. Just because there's not a physical copy doesn't mean you can't digitally buy it. It'll be cool. Private message. Large visible sigh. <laughs> That's that's him. Hi, that's I'm Josh awesome. From Bell Studios. I don't know why he's not typing it in the chat. Based in upstate New York, and we recently announced Knockout City, a team-based multiplayer action uh, game for PS4 where rival crews. Oh, okay. I thought this was Fortnite for a minute, and I was just like, <laughs> no. Knockout City is easy to pick up and play, but there's a lot of. I'm not a fan of uh, hiding in a bathroom no, with a shotgun simulator. Go head to head in a constantly shrinking battle. Also known as Fortnite. If you like it, that's cool. I mean, to each his own. I'm just not a fan. Making it easier to land a hit. Use trick shots to lob a ball over a ledge or hook it around a corner. Fake a throw to in mess case up you missed it. What are you talking about, buddy? Before they can recover. When you're in a tough spot with a ball flying your way, a last second dodge is the difference between getting knocked out oh, and okay. staying in the fight. He's catching Keep up on another chat. And outplay your opponent to bring uh. Let's jump into Team KO, our 3v3 mode. Teamwork makes a dream work in Knockout City. If your crew is outmatched, a well-coordinated team can still dominate. We're playing hmm. a back alley brawl, a new map that you'll find in our upcoming crossplay beta. The special ball for this match is the sniper ball, which locks onto targets from far across the map and wham, you can take them out before they have a chance to react. Beyond Neat. special balls, each map features a I would be happy with uh, Destiny ball, Ones, two, not Destiny Two, but Destiny One's Rift. Opponents. I enjoyed. I enjoyed Rift in, in that game. You can literally become the ball, a new weapon for your teammate. Or risk it all. Charge up a teammate, launch them high into the air with an ultimate throw, and they'll land in a huge instant KO explosion. The team here at Velen has been obsessed with building this world over the last four years. Knockout City is coming out May 21st, and it, love it looks like Fortnite to me. Am I alone in that? Am I the only one that thinks that it just looks like Fortnite? Play early on PlayStation. See you soon, bro. Only a sport. It's Fortnite. I dub the Fortnite. Knockout City. Balan. Okay. Now for something new. Here's your first look. Can we not PS5 snot all over my elbow? Really? Pretty popular. Yeah. Boy, you ain't kidding. Doing the wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. Sorry. Why? Why do you keep doing that? You walk into my elbow. Okay. I think back to uh, Squaresoft's The Bouncer on PlayStation 2. That guy grows a beard fast. Holy crap. He's faster than me. Jesus. Right? It was a purple disc. It wasn't silver like most PlayStation 2 games. It was... I, I love that game. Hell yeah. Yeah. Sifu. Now let's get an update on Sifu. That means master, right? Sifu. Sifu. What's going on, Teb27? I'm thinking IP man. Sifu. Sifu. Oh, this looks like uh, Fury. Hey everyone, I'm Alex Preston, creative director of Art Machine. You might okay. know this is the team behind Hyperlight Drifter. 
Today, I'm here to show you Hyper Light Drifter. I've never played that game. <sighs> Bouncer was awesome. Solar Ash is a huge, stylish 3D platformer focused on speed, movement, and fluidity. The game is set inside a giant okay, hole so it's like known as the Journey Ocean, on Crack. Has been consuming everything in its path. You play as Ray. I should play Journey. Boyfriend. Anybody else a fan of Journey? I fucking love that game. It's just IP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like it, but with a P. Ray is extremely Ip. Agile, oh yeah, 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 yeah. the world with abilities akin to skating. Ip. On the ashen clouds, she can quickly cover great distances in our huge world. God, I love the first one of those movies. At its that core, Tin Man fight. Oh, it gives me chills to this day, man. Has everything she needs to flow through the dangerous and unique world. To fight ten, ten, ten people. Great movie. Great series. Second one was good too. Mike Tyson was in the third one, and uh, had a kind of an emotional breakdown at the time uh, when the fourth one came out. I was very excited about it. I loved the rest of the movies, and it was called uh, Ip Man: the, the the Last Fight. I had sadly just lost my my mom to cancer at that time, and uh, didn't know that's what the movie was about. Didn't didn't know. Didn't had no idea. I thought we were talking martial arts. No. Talk about his his fight with cancer. It was a good movie. Wretched. At the same time, I was emotionally not prepared for that. The fourth one had the best Bruce Lee portrayal of Bruce Lee. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree. I agree. Had I not been going through said trauma, I probably would have enjoyed the movie a lot better. I should go back and watch it now. I really should. That was a couple of years ago. The giant space that was like a gut punch, though. I was like, no, I want to high stakes I want to see Ip Man kicking ass and Bruce Lee. That was, a, that was a good movie, though, from what I remember. And more importantly, fun. This looks interesting. This game is a labor of love for everyone on the Heart Machine team. We're excited to bring Solar Ash to PS5 and PS4 later this year. Okay. I'm liking seeing things for PlayStation 4, which I currently games, don't have a PlayStation 5. So, like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're on YouTube and, uh, and Twitch so that we can make money from this hobby. Maybe I'll buy a PlayStation 5. That's freaking me out, man. Ah. No, sir, I don't like it. I don't know what this is. Ready? Wait. Okay. So we got a new, a new FNAF. Is that what this is? Yep. We got a new FNAF. Okay. I've never played any of the FNAF games. Gregory, we can get you out of here. You and me together. I've never played any of them. I got a lot of friends that are absolutely all about them. Uh, perhaps, exactly, with you guys here, it might be something that I would really enjoy. By myself, just sitting on the couch, drinking a beer, it just never looked appealing to me, but yeah, with the chat, hell yeah, hell yeah. You will do as I say, you will bring me what I want, and if you fail me, then you will, both of you. Is that a Morton Joe in the background screaming at us? I can only hope he's wearing a Morton Joe mask. <laughs> Witness me! Security breach. So the wrong kid. Alvin's daughter will absolutely love that. that. Is a chilling new look at Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Up next, yeah, she's she's big into those games. Oddworld Soulstorm. Oddworld, hell yeah. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director at Oddworld Inhabitants. Today, very I'm cool. going to take you on a very cool. tour of our newest game, Oddworld Soulstorm. They've always known you would come. Do you know why you have? In Soulstorm, you reprise the role of Abe, accidental hero turned unlikely leader of an emerging revolution. 
as you do battle through weird and wonderful environments in an effort to escape the all-powerful and eternally greedy Gluckens. Cool, we cool. We really wanted to bring this world to life with what we call 2.9D platforming, which adds much more depth and immersion for the player. This sense of connection is also reinforced through the use of the dual senses haptic feedback, as you'll now be able to feel Abe's heartbeat in high alert and suspenseful situations. <laughs> That's kind of cool. There are well over 1,000 fellow Mudokins that you must try to save. What's going on, Dave? But they are far more than helpless. Hopefully, you're having a good day, man. When used effectively, you'll be able. We're just to hanging out, watching this uh, let's play, and be given the tools they need to fight alongside you. And there will be times when the extra hands will be needed as you face off against an array of heavily armed enemies that will stop at nothing to find and end Abe once and for all. <laughs> Alvin just sent a message. Hold In on. order to stand a chance against this much larger threat, we gave Abe the ability to scavenge, loot, and pickpocket items <laughs> from his surroundings and use them to craft an impressive arsenal of his own that he can share with others. You can also Inappropriate comments. I'll, I'll wait until he's actually we here, and then we'll talk about it. But there is one uh, for our he's good, dude. Hopefully he'll be here tomorrow. Hopefully. Power Fingers crossed. Of your See what kind of day he's having tomorrow. And weapons against them, or use them to gain access to paths still ahead. The Oddworld universe is a diverse place, and this means that there are some environments and situations that require a little more thought, patience, and stealth. You'll find Patience. dark and dangerous caves, heavily guarded industrial One thing I'm not very good at. Lands. Here we've built lots of opportunities for you to test your skills and find different ways to handle things. It won't be easy. If being hunted by an army backed by a shady and wealthy organization isn't bad enough, there are also more dangers in the forms mm. of natural obstacles, ancient traps, trials against swarming I might have to get my dog in. And industrial hazards that must be dodged, crossed, and avoided. He's being a beehole. Ultimately, Abe's journey is one of hope, freedom, and truth. There is a rich and engaging narrative to discover in a world full of lies. And we've been able to bring our characters to life like never before. In true Oddworld fashion, your actions in-game will decide the fate of Abe and all those you manage to liberate along the way. And we can't wait to see what you will do. <laughs> that was the latest on Oddworld Soulstorm. And here's some exciting news. Active PlayStation Plus cool. members will get cool. the PS5 version for no extra cost. Everybody say hi to Alvin. He's PS5 apparently lurking. For no extra cost. Alvin lurking. So, hashtag hi Alvin. Alvin. It's time to catch up with Kina Bridge of Spirits, a gorgeous new adventure we last saw in the June PS5 <sighs> showcase. Alvin! <laughs> Wait, what am I looking at? It's like, okay. Yes! Yes, Alvin, you do. You do. Hey, two player co op, buddy. Two player co op. And it's got checkpoints. I mean, it can definitely be gone through in, in one sitting. It can be done. Looking for forest creatures. Hello, spirit. I seek passage to the sacred land. <laughs> Come on, man! It's got checkpoints! It has checkpoints. Yeah, it do. Come at me, bro. Yeah, it has uh, the, the difficulty settings. Squire, Knight, Paladin, and stuff like that. Uh, is completely dependent on how many checkpoints. So if you set it for Squire, it does it like every 10% of the stage has a checkpoint. Uh, Knights is every like 25%. And then, you know, the higher difficulties is you get the one in the middle. But that takes away the feeling of achievement. I know, I agree with you. That was that was one of the biggest complaints about people that, that wanted the uh, Tough as Nails. Holy crap. Oh, well, hardest difficulty then. I know, I know, it can be done. Also, there's the two-player co-op where one person plays as a ghost and you can actually pick up the other player and both of you can attack in tandem and you can carry them and float and fly for periods of time. There's no double jump. I was disappointed that there was no double jump. 
Uh, but the rest of it looks friggin' awesome. It's 30 bones! I, 30 bones! That's that's the only thing that's kind of off-putting about it. Kind of like Fear 3. I haven't played any of the Fear games. This game looks kind of cool. I'm getting some, like, dinosaur planet vibes from it. Okay, and then you put on a fox mask. I'm okay. I didn't know that. Okay. Uh. Yikes, what the ass? Okay, that's kind of cool. I dig the music. Fear is excellent. Kina? Those are ripped from fear, just about. Really? I didn't know that. Now let's settle in for a stylish new look at Deathloop, a PS5 first-person shooter developed by the team at Arcane. Eh, okay, show me a PlayStation 5 game that shows me what a FPS looks like. And the rest of these maniacs. Bring it, baby. This is Ramblin' Frank's matinee. This little ditty goes out to the handsome asshole trying to break our loop. Called handsome assholes. Gotta gotta turn that into a hashtag. Hashtag handsome assholes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh great, copywritten music. Great. Great. I'm just gonna talk loudly over top of this. Don't want that. Don't want copyright. No, no, no. Doopity doop. Boppity boop. Bop, boppity boop. Boopity boopity bop. Okay, I'm going to turn you down because I know you're a real song. Ah, that pisses me off. <laughs> ah, I've got enough copyright strikes. I do. I don't need more. Because copyright is asshole. I'm sorry. It's fact. I need to have music on standby that I can just overdub something. Okay, the f that looks pretty cool, actually. Very, very stylized. It's like a, a, a Dan Avedon uh, music video there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Magnum Bullets. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay. Doopy doopy doop. Okay. Cool. Cool. There's no lady that gave them the suits from the Incredibles. Yes! Yeah, I know who you're talking about. This also reminds me of Mirror's Edge. Can you not wipe snot on my hands, buddy? I appreciate that. Can we not do this copyright music? Can we not? Can we not? Doge. Send Doge to the moon. I don't know her name from The Incredibles, but I know who you're talking about. I just found her in real life. Seriously? Well, that's cool. She's been in a, a lot of really awesome movies. You should get her autograph. And then uh, do a cell phone video and, and say, Hey, 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 Incredibles lady. Say, like, comment, and subscribe to the wrong show. And then that would be awesome. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Before we leave, how about a huge update for one of 2020's most celebrated games? Okay. Oh, shit! Oh shit, with the foreskin monsters! Okay, Bloodshot, I get it. I get what you were talking about now. Oh shit, dude! Okay. I'm not gonna see spoilers, am I? Okay, this is all the stuff that we've already seen. Oh, freaking Rita. Okay. Oh god! Oh god! I forgot to play this game! Hype train, Alvin, get over here. Let's play. Okay, god. Spoilers. <gasps> Midgar. 
Wait, what? My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and the Oh no freaking way. The Wu Tai government will prove to our common enemy that Wu Tai is not to be trifled with. <laughs> Members of Avalanche, we got this. I'm back. No way. Okay. Everyone's been expecting you. What took you? I dig it. Sorry about that. I dig it. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. Where's Clown? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well. Whoa, so these guys are still around in part two? So this is a commercial for part two, right? Should we say hi? Oh, we finally got a commercial for part two? After what they've done, you got Oh, I'm ex oh god, I'm excited. We gotta help. She's gonna steal all of our shit. I know it. I like the Moogle suit. Whoa! You're new and cool looking. 1.5. Oh, is it DLC? Sweet. They're better off out of it. They deserve what's coming to them. Yeah, they do. But I'm not your sister. Yeah. There you are. Who are these jerks? No clue. It just appeared. Sweet. Now, let the hunt let the begin. begin. Whoa. Okay, June. No, it's a full game, but it takes place between disc one and two of the original game. Wait a minute. It's a full game that takes pl So another 60 bones? Oh god, this is gonna be expensive, isn't it? I'm starting to pucker. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, what am I looking at here? PlayStation 5. Oh, so the game's coming out on PlayStation 5 now. I thought it was on PlayStation 5 already. Alright, well, I'm gonna see spoilers. Oh, wow, that sword looks pretty. Oh, the lighting is awesome! Holy shit! Upgrade. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, that looks really cool. Wait, he dances? What? Whoa, 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 what the ass? <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Oh, that was great. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's brave and beautiful. It's brave and beautiful. All right. Don't you remember that part? I do! I do! I was talking to Alvin about that. I, I can't wait for that part to be in the game. Just dress up like a girl and then do the the play for, for Eris. Yeah. Oh my god. Load game. So you get to... Can you take your, your game from the PlayStation 4? Pause. Oh, that looks cool. Photo mode. All right, that's cool. That's cool. That was big in Final Fantasy 15, but I never used photo mode in 15. God, I know people that like they just live for photo mode. Spiff Cat, I'm, I'm looking at you guys. Whoa! Very cool. Very cool. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna have to buy a PlayStation 5, I know it. I'm gonna have to. Uh, a couple of months, I should be able to. Reveal of Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. All right, okay, I get it, so that's why. 
<sighs> Good stuff, it. guys. We hope you're as excited as we are for what's to come in Good 2021. Stuff. See you next time. Good stuff. All right. Well, I gotta buy a PlayStation 5 now. I also announced a mobile game. Mobile game? Ugh. I'm not a fan of mobile games. I can't tell you that I've ever played a mobile game. That brings together the full timeline from Crisis Core all the way to Advent Children. Are you serious? So it's a it's another Final Fantasy game. All of them together. But it's only on cell phones? But it's only on cell phones? That's That's more than a little lame. Yeah. Anyway. All right. That said, there we go.